Good morning, class. Um, this is Dr. Kelly, Dr. Patrick Kelly, um, teaching Texas history. That's 2053-001. Um, make sure you're in the right section. This is uh, section one of Texas history. And in this series of podcasts, I'm going to go over the syllabus and uh, sketch out what we'll be doing this semester, what you'll be doing this semester, and how um, I approach this course. So um, welcome. Uh, Texas history is a course that I teach pretty much every semester, and I never really get tired of it. I change it up, um, which helps keep it fresh. But Texas history is just extremely fascinating uh, because of the diversity of Texas. I think that's one of the secrets of Texas. It's a very diverse place. Uh, the history is fascinating, uh, the Spanish in Texas, the, we're going to be talking a lot about the Comanche in Texas, uh, Texas Indians, um, African Americans in Texas, Tejanos, of course, Anglos. This course will end around 1900. I focus on the first half of Texas history, just because I think that that's a part of Texas history that's not that well understood. And um, I have a very clear idea of what I want you to learn in this course. Uh, as I said before, I've been doing it for a long time. And I try to make it interesting for you. I know not everybody in the class and probably a good portion of the class um, doesn't really care about history or struggled with history in the past, or actually you might even hate history. Um, but one of the things that I do in this class is talk about just the process of history itself, the significance of history through looking at Texas. Um, and it may not sound very promising, but one of the points that I wanna make is that history affects every waking moment of your life. Um, everything you do, every breath you breathe, it's affected by history. You can't escape history. So you might as well understand it. And of course, we can't understand all of history just by looking at Texas, but you'd be surprised about how much history we can understand. We understand race relations, uh, uh, imperialism, uh, gender relations, uh, the settlement of the West. Um, Texas history encapsulates a lot of US history. And one of the also the interesting things about Texas history is, is that a lot of what we're studying happened right here in San Antonio. Uh, and of course we do live in an odd moment in um, the history of Texas. Uh, we're all struggling with the COVID crisis, with the COVID pandemic. Um, the inauguration is tomorrow. I'm not political in this class, but it is what, however you come down on the election, uh, inauguration is, is very important. It's gonna be very important for Texas. So it's just a very, very interesting time. So like I say, I'm gonna post a couple of podcasts. This is the first one on the syllabus and I have the syllabus open um, on my share screen for Zoom. And I suggest that you go over it. You don't have to look at the screen. You can um, just look at your copy of it um, and as I said before, this is a, a course on the history of Texas. Um, it satisfies the core curriculum requirement. Um, it's a fully online course. Uh, we won't meet in person. I think very, very few courses at UTSA this semester are meeting in person. Uh, we certainly won't. But that doesn't mean that I won't meet with you. One of the pleasant surprises of last semester is how many students I met with via Zoom. Usually in a big survey course like this, this course has 140 students. Um, usually in a survey course like this, um, when, when I meet with the students in person, I, I usually only meet with like five or less students a semester during my office hours. I'm always amazed about how few students take advantage of my office hours. But of course, I kind of understand that too. UTSA, uh, a, a lot of you work, probably most of you work, 75%, maybe even more. Um, uh, a significant portion of you have families. Uh, during 
the semester when there's not a COVID pandemic, um, folks, students are coming back and forth to and from campus, uh, doing all the things that they need to do in their lives. I know, I know school's not the only thing that's going on for most of you. Parking is a massive headache uh, normally. That's one of the advantages, I guess, of online classes. Now, I, I know a lot of you hate online classes and hate online learning, but this is just the environment that we find ourselves in given the pandemic. And um, I try really hard to make the course work for you. And if you're struggling with it at all with the online environment and you want some personal tips on how to succeed in this course, please, please, please don't hesitate to reach out to me at any point during the semester and, um, and, and let's talk. Uh, I think I've been doing this for a long time. I have a good sense of how I can help you, how I can help you understand this course and what you need to do um, to perform well in this course, to get a good grade in this course. So don't hesitate to reach out. And like I said, last semester, I found uh, students didn't really hesitate to reach out. I probably talked to about 30 students last semester, by far more students than I have ever talked to before. Um, uh, in, an, in a uh, big survey class. So any issues at all, um, one of the advantages of online is I can work around your schedule. And you'll see that um, my uh, email is, don't email me via Blackboard, uh, email me at uh, my UTSA address. And I'm not gonna have set office hours, but I'll meet with you pretty much anytime uh, or not anytime but I'm very flexible about when I can meet with you. Um, I can work around your schedule. So when it says by appointment, I'm not being unfriendly, I'm actually being super flexible. Um, I, I can figure out a time to meet with you and I will. And like I say, I understand that uh, many of you, many of you, probably three out of four, maybe even more work and have very demanding schedules. So one of the things about the online environment, which is certainly not a perfect environment, is its flexibility. Okay, let's see. Um, you know what? I think I'll stop the podcast there and uh, I'll start up another podcast um, as we go over the readings or as I go over the readings and talk about the grading.